Okay, so it's been a while. We got to chat. What's up guys? It's your girl, Books of Bunny, and I am back with another effing video. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk all about books, the looks, the covers, the lovers. We do it all here, okay? Welcome. We are in December. We've made it. Thank you. Um, we finally made it to December, and this is officially my last TBR of 2020 and you know what i'm not even mad last year i was like i didn't even get through a lot of books i'm frustrated with myself why am i reading so slow this year everybody gets a pass this year has been crazy so with that being said this video is going to be my last tbr of 2020. i have finally picked my final TBR of this year. Um, I, I intentionally didn't want it to be super long. I wanted it to be short and give my time, not give my time, but give me space for me to create changes if needed. So yeah, let's jump right into this video. Oh, if you're new here, please subscribe, um, like, comment down below that you're new. We welcome you with open arms and all that goodness. Um, so yeah, let's get into these books. The first book is actually by Serena Valentino. She wrote the series The Villains and it's basically about the villain side of the story or the villains winning. I keep confusing the two of our favorite Disney fantasy books. I personally really love Disney stories, Disney princesses, the whole bam bam bam. And I haven't really read a lot of the stories that are opposing the princesses. So uh, the first one in the series that I received, because I did receive the entire series. Uh, so the first book is Ferris of All, and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Can we just talk about the eyebrow? She didn't come to play with y'all. You think she playing? Uh-uh. What's wrong with y'all? Wu-Tang. Um, so this is her perspective of the Snow White, and that's literally all I know about this book. And the next book that I'll be reading is by Lori Anderson. Now this is one of the stories that I was aware of growing up but never actually got a chance to read it. My sister has, which is why I really want to read the book. Um, but it's Speak. And to my understanding, it's about a young girl and something terrible happens to her, but she doesn't tell anyone about it. So you really go through the dynamics with her as well as like how she feels after. I think that's what it's about. Maybe. That's that's what I got so far. Ooh, okay, so this one is actually one of my favorites. And like I said earlier, I really love fairy tales. Um, it's kind of my thing lately. Um, I just need something good to happen, you know? I need that like once upon a time and happily ever after with everything that's happened this year. So I read uh, the first book of this series and I'm actually gonna read the second one this this month. Uh, so the book that I'm referring to is the second book to a curse. What is it called? A Curse So Dark and Lovely or Lonely. I believe it's lonely. So the first book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely and the second book is A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I think this still includes the same characters but one of the most trusted... Okay let me go back and explain a little bit. So the story is around um, a prince and him kidnapping a girl from the real world and taking her back to his cursed land. He has this noble steed who is literally 100% loyal to him after all this craziness happens with them being the beast. So with that happening, um, now we're in this predicament where he is now in love with a woman, he has a woman, but now the noble steed I think is switching sides. It's, it's, it's definitely, a great story and I'm not doing it justice whatsoever. So if you are considering reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely, I strongly recommend you do and I will let you guys know in my wrap up how great this one is. So yeah, moving on to the next. Hi guys, editing Bonnie here. So the last piece of this video got corrupted or something. I don't I don't really know. So I wanted to go ahead and finish up. It's only two books left. Um so the first book is 
Ties That Tether. Um, this is the other book I'll be reading this month. And it basically is a main character. I think her name is Azuri. And basically she's Nigerian heritage and her family really wants her to get married. When I say family, I mean her mother. Um, she keeps like setting her up on these blind dates where she has to be with a Nigerian man. And through her frustration, she has a one night stand. She's just sick of dealing with these guys that she's not really interested in. So then what happens is she hooks up with this guy who's not Nigerian. He's actually white. Um, and she thought it would be a one night stand and never, ever have to deal with it again. But then the next morning she goes to work and sees this guy. So, um, it kind of goes over the twist and turns of her. Um, and I love the, the religious cultural points of view. So I really am interested in reading this. And then last but not least, I have my book for book club, which is, We've been reading a series by Darian Lee. Um, so the first books we read was um, All That in a Bag of Chip, Been There, Done That. And they're really great books. They're a little bit older. I mean, one of the books they talked about pagers and it drove me crazy. But ultimately, it was really, really good read. Um, so the one that we're on now, um, this is the third of the four books. Um, and it's what goes around comes around. I've read this before, but I didn't know it was a part of a series. So I'm I'm really loving the reread and just like the romance. It's so good. Um, I'm gonna finish this within the next week, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, comment down below what you guys are reading right now, and yeah, it's your girl Books Bonnie, and I am.